yeah okay now let's come straight to the search here the search button double click on that and the first thing I'm going to do right here is I'm going to declare the following theme roll number as integer okay that's to check the rows and the following variables as well okay so x as integer and the follow rows as range that's to check the range then i'm going to say set the following rows okay equals sheet one dot cells and row rows dot count comma one dot end open a bracket L up one dot offset and now the one comma zero right so this search button so let me now say the role itself here equals 16 anyway but there are 16 text box on board equals 16 and we am going to use a for loop for x equals 1, 2, row, set, follow row, equals follow rule of set. Let's just copy that, paste that there, dot offset right and get it nested all right that is for the search so whatever we have in here will be searched here yeah, let's say we enter whatever in there and click on search and that will go ahead and search for it now but right now it's not going to do anything because it actually need to look in here as well so for the after grade so the next thing is for me to double click on this very form uh, text button one and i'm going to use after update so come in here change the event to after the update right there so let's speed that up right see after the update this is where most of the action actually takes place okay if, as you can see i've declared a variable here and i've made my sheet one active and in here using a for loop okay um, I use a for loop here but before then see this if statement here that's to check the sheet itself sheet one and in here if any of this is not found this should pop up whatever I enter on the text box if it's not found this message will pop up item not found confirm if you want to add the item that you're searching for and in here what I've done in here is the variable that I've declared in here is to check if I intend to add that item if I want to add the item then this button is enabled else the button will not be enabled okay all right supposing I want to add an item so what will happen is 
this function here we actually add the item straight onto the text box okay that's what this one does straight onto the text uh, the text box the 16 text box okay but the, you see this 16 text box nothing will happen yet until I define a name and that is the name I intend to call my name manager so let's go on to the form here to define the name manager first you see here I want to define all of this as lookings so let's go to format formula actually then name manager and I'm gonna select new the name I intend to call it I've just pasted there so I want you to select all of these okay just click on okay so let's see and there that is the that is the whole data selected in here if I click on this now you see it's highlighted the section but because I've asked it to increment by one when I add, add another data okay that is why we have this here okay let's click on close so we'll have a good look at it properly close that now let's go back to my design all right inside the form design the next thing I like to do now is to take care of add the add function but before then this will work now anyway if I enter anything here click on search say the item is now found do I want the system to add it okay let's say no but let's look here I'm gonna close this so that I can see what I have in here let's search for so let's for, search for an item that is on board right go back in there run it now and let's say we want zero 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 three search there we go you see it's now working okay but the ad is not working yet reset okay to get the ad working we need to do as follows double click on ad and I'm just going to add the following lines of code to speed up this ad function there we go from here down here okay have a good look at that that is for the odd odd new and this is for clear this is my exit and in here I have the two lines of code for print and this is for the search why this very one here is to update the data on the text box up to here and finally initialize the initialize the add button so if I run it now there. okay let's search for whatever value that we have on board let's see so I'm going to search for one of these let's say one zero zero seven and click on search there we go clear now let's add data that we don't have on the system we don't have that on the system okay have a good look at that and now click on search yes I intend to add some values and the name let's say the name is wow uh, yeah whatever and then the surname is daily data bet and the 12 of whatever gender is female And the other one here, let's just say 0 
zero there so we can now add all of this information so let's have a look before we click on add look at my table right there there's nothing in there so if I click on add this is it there you see that so let's that's it right there okay and with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it so you all have a nice day now bye for now please do subscribe and some of you guys there you can always become a member of the channel you have a nice day and bye for now